Welcome back students. So today we are going to talk about the personality traits of ocean big five factor theory. In today's video we will also watch how exactly the person reacts when he is having this personality theory with the help of the example that is in the end of this video. So let's begin with the history of the uh, ocean theory. The big five factor resulted from the contribution of many independent researchers. Gordon Alport and Henry Albert first form, formed a list of 4,500 terms relating to the personality traits in 1936. So you can understand through this that there were two psychologists that were involved. That is Gordon Alport, that whose name we have already seen uh, while discussing the personality chapter. He has given the definition of personality chapter. And then, and Henry uh, Orbet was they were the first who formed 4,500 terms related to personality traits in 1936. Their work provided the foundation of other psychologists to begin determining the basic dimensions of personality. Okay, so the name that you need to remember whenever we are talking about chapter a personality, you always need to remember Gordon Elport. So he was the first person to actually form a foundation, the other psychologists to begin uh, to determine the basic dimensions of personality. In 1940s, Raymond Cattell and his colleagues used factor analysis, a statistical method, to narrow down Elport's list to the 16 traits. So, it was in 1940s, Raymond Cattell used this uh, uh, statistical method known as a factor analysis to narrow down the Elport's list of 4,000 plus words to just 16 trait words okay however numerous psychologists examined cattle's list and found that it could be further reduced to only five factor among this psychologists were donald fiske norman smith goldberg and macrae and costa okay so what actually happened if we see or uh, we go back to the slide uh, it actually began in 1936 by gordon alport and henry gave us the 4500 words for personality traits which were later narrowed down by raymond cattle to 16 traits which were again narrowed down by few psychologists into just five traits and these few psychologists were donald fiske norman smith goldberg and macrae and costa in particular lewis goldberg advocated heavily for five primary factors of personality his work explained upon by macrae and costa who confirmed the model's validity and provided the model that is used today of consciousness, agreeableness, neuroticism, openness to experience and extroversion. So what happened over here is that Macrae and the Macrae and Costa found the perfect validity for this particular model and thus they were the pioneer of big five factor that we know today has ocean factor that is o c e a a n the model became known as big five and has seen received much attention it has been researched across many populations and culture and continues to be the most widely accepted theory of personality today so we did a personality test in the previous videos wherein we found what kind of personality each person is having and that actually was a big five factor test so uh, each of the big five personality traits represents extremely broad categories which covers many personality related terms each trait encompasses a multitude and other factor facets so we already have studied what big uh, what kind of traits they uh, they are hold, holding and we can understand this from this particular chart so you can see that 
there are trades in which there are five trades that is openness imagination feelings actions and idea consciousness that is competence self discipline thoughtfulness and goal driven extroversion that is sociability assertiveness emotional expression a agreeableness that is cooperative trustworthy good natured and n neuroticism that is tendency towards unstable emotions so now we will understand the low and the high score of each this trait so when i talk that the person is having a high in o factor that is the person is high in openness factor so that person will be more curious a wide range of interest and independent you can see on the right side of the screen the first box which shows the high score if i say the person is having low in o factor that means a person is practical conventional and prefers his routine okay so same way we go for all the other factors right so there could be the person with high c factor and low n factor right so if we say the person is high in c factor so that person would have a be be hard working dependable organized whereas if the person is low in c factor he would be impulsive careless and disorganized so impulsive means he would react quickly to the situation he would be very careless and he won't be organized at all next is e that is extroversion we have seen uh, the carl's jung theory of extrovert and introvert so over your extroversion is related to the same thing what extroverts are so extroversion is for sociability or certain as emotional expression so if the person with the high score e is he would be outgoing warm and seeks the adventure whereas the person with e the low e would be opposite of the high score that is quiet reserved and withdrawn fine next we move on to the a factor that is agreeableness now in the term itself you will understand what it stands for agreeing or agreeing to others okay so agreeableness has a quality of cooperative trustworthy and good nature so if the person with a high agreeableness would be so that person would be very helpful trusting and empathetic empathetic means to understand others feeling whereas the person with the low agreeableness would be critical uncooperative and suspicious suspicious means the person would not trust others easily or would, would be doubtful towards others right next is n factor n stands for neuroticism neuroticism as tendency towards unstable emotions so the person with neuroticism would be anxious unhappy prone to the negative emotions so even if there is any happy situation in the life still the person is going to experience the negative emotion and anxiety and if the person with the low n factor would be he would be calm even tempered and secure so you can't you do you won't be having all the factors in high or all the factors in low it would be the combination of high and low factors so now we will understand the big five factor with the help of this video and if you have any doubts you can write me in the comment box and i will try to solve it so till then take care and bye The theory of the Big Five personality traits claims that we can describe ourselves with five main characteristics. Open, conscientious, extrovert, agreeable, neurotic. Each of us varies in how much of each trait is shown in our personality. In order to understand what each trait really means, 
Let's look at these five characters and how they cope after they wreck their boat and are stranded on an island in the middle of the ocean. Open Odalia is excited and interested in exploring this beautiful island. The exotic nature inspires her. She has collected stones, shells and blossoms to decorate the entrance of the bamboo hut that she built for everyone. She feels this is an opportunity to learn so many new things. Claire is conscientious. She is not excited. She is concerned about the seriousness of the situation. She is glad she saved the survival kit from their ship. As usual, she is prepared and starts the crucial tasks right away. She feels that it is her duty to organize everyone and make sure that they will start looking for the things they need for survival fresh water, and food. Extrovert Emil is thrilled because they all survived. He feels a strong need to talk and share his happiness. He gathers everyone to celebrate their survival and to tell them about his plan to explore the island together. Agreeable Albert is kind by nature, and despite being tired and thirsty, his main concern is Nora. He offers her a drink from his coconut. The others know that he usually agrees to everything and are not shy to ask for his help. Nora is neurotic and easily stressed. She has a total breakdown. She sits down on the beach and cries. How are they ever going to get away from this island? To her, the ocean around them looks endless. Nature looks dark and dangerous. She feels completely lost. After eight weeks, two ships appear on the horizon. Everyone gets excited. Emil has the idea to make a fire. He calls the others to help. Claire immediately starts to work. Albert brings more wood. Odelia is holding up her beautifully arranged SOS sign, while Nora screams desperately for help. Little do they know who is sailing on these ships. The first ship carries a group of psychologists who have been traveling the ocean since the 1980s. They are investigating the Big Five personality traits, which is also known as the Five Factor or Ocean Model. The captain, Louis Goldberg, coined the term Big Five. He is thrilled when he sees the five friends at the beach, each one matching exactly one trait. Open, conscientious, extrovert, agreeable, neurotic, though he decides not to stop the boat. As a scientist, he prefers to watch from afar. On the other ship are five pirates, all possessing the exact opposite traits of our friends. Let's see if you can recognize them. Pirate One is emotionally stable and very relaxed. When she sees the survivors on the beach, she says, we could help them. Pirate Two immediately gets angry with her. He is not listening to anyone and is not willing to change his plans in order to help some strangers on an island. Pirate 3 thinks this is a complex situation. He thinks that all possible outcomes need to be considered. He feels the need to be alone and think. Pirate 4 doesn't care. He's busy looking for the keys to his treasure chest, which is lost again. The captain is not open to any new experiences. He ends all discussions when he says, our boat won't stop. What do you think about the Big Five? Do you recognize your own personality in some of the traits? Or do you think this theory is flawed as we cannot describe an entire personality in five parameters? If you watch this in class and you are not sure which traits you have, pick a friend and describe each other. Many of us are bad at describing ourselves, so an outside perspective is often helpful. If you like this video and the way we explain the subject, subscribe to our channel. We try to explain complex subjects in simple language and cartoons to support students all around the world in their learning. If you want to support us, you can go to www.patreon.com sprouts and donate. 
Just $1 from many fans makes a big difference. 